Hey everybody, welcome to another video review. It's been a long while. Um, I've been spending the past six to eight weeks, uh, besides being really busy, sort of again working real hard on my Killzone Shadowfall world record, um, just kind of a you know, world record grinding. And um, I've almost basically wrapped up whatever more I can do with that game. And there'll be a uh, quite a bit of, I think, no video there just because I need to upload these to YouTube to um, sort of uh, corroborate or confirm my world record on the speedrun.com website. I link it to the YouTube videos. So for those of you who aren't interested in that, I, I do want to apologize for that. There's going to be a couple more kills on Shadowfall videos coming up. Again, world record uh, runs for the whole game, level by level. And I might even put a little YouTube review just sort of reviewing... Um, the game and my thoughts on it and kind of giving a little bit of background history on it but before doing that you know i looked at my youtube channel it's like the last 10 videos were on um kills on shadowfall so before kind of doing more of that i wanted to get back to my roots and do some more um statue reviews figuring reviews again showcases some of my interests um uh there's gonna be a death what is a death warrior right yeah, Death Warrior. I always get the Death Warrior, the Death Dealer confused. I think the Death Dealer is by Frazetta. But the Death Warrior is a, is a Naren uh, Predator <clears throat> sculpture. And I know, um, you know one of my subscribers uh, has been patiently waiting for that. And um, I want to get to that as well. Um, but I wanted to start off with something a little bit simpler. And so this uh, is uh, Goblin on Pig. Uh, it's uh, a miniature model. You can see my thumb here. Uh, so it's very small. And uh, you can uh, buy it from a company called, uh, it's a French company. I think it's Le Ben. Um, and I'll put that in the description below. So, you know, you'll be able to find it if you wish. Uh, it's a, a French uh, miniature modeling company. Uh, and uh, they don't sell like a lot of stuff, but they sell um, kind of very unique types of um, sculptures um, but this is painted by uh, Robert Carlson he is um, my go-to guy for miniature painting uh, and uh, he actually just took a picture of uh, a work he did on goblin and pig I think on his Facebook channel and I remember that it looked so striking uh, that I immediately fell in love with it. Um, it just seemed to have this kind of perfect blend of the fantastical and the um, the humorous, you know. Uh, and I love like little statues. I love statues and miniatures that do that, that kind of um, tell a story with that one snapshot because really a statue is like a snapshot in time, right? Uh, it's sculpted. And so it's a snapshot in time. And I love sort of um, the ability to tell this you know, story almost with that one snapshot and it's very difficult to get that right and so I uh, you know I've been trying to cut down on some of my expenditures in this area just because of space and stuff like that and money concerns and space concerns but this was unique enough and of course small enough that um, I talked to him and you know Robert pointed me in the direction of where I could get it. Um, the picture he snapped was of a work, a project he had done, a custom he had done many, many years ago for, the, for a client. But he said, of course, you know, he would be willing to do another one for me if I could uh, obtain the miniature. And so I did get in touch with the, um, with the owner and there was a little bit of an ordeal because, you know, of course, this was during the, co the height of the COVID pandemic where much of Europe was shut down. Uh, the post was shut down. So I had to, you know, wait like everyone else patiently for that to finally get better. Then he finally sent it. And then he, of course, uh, because it's such a small piece, he sent it um, without any tracking uh, with, you know, the cheapest mail option. And that took uh, literally three to four weeks, I think, to get to Robert. But, um, you know, Robert uh, painted it for me. <clears throat> I've gotten this a while back. And it's just um, such an amazing work in so many different uh, ways. So I guess I should just kind of start with the sculpture. Again, um, I love the dynamic pose of it. Um, it's basically shows like a goblin completely out of control, 
um, either being bucked off the wild pig that he is riding, or um, you know perhaps uh, the pig is running so hard and so fast that the goblin is sort of barely hanging on. Um, and so here is the back of the piece, so you can see it kind of being cut off. You can see the round, uh, the wooden shield on the back of the goblin, and then here is of course the, the back part of the um, the pig and it's on a very elegant black base. So I have a black base on a black turntable against a black background. So um, I'm well aware that when you do this, it does look like the piece is almost floating, gives you the illusion that he's floating in midair. So the sculpt is just, um, it's just so spectacular. Like, I mean, this is not like a cartoon pig. This is like a boar, you know? Um, this is like the sort of pig, I don't know if you, um, uh, how many of you guys have seen this? We can do a Google search. Like you know, there's like the, a record of the biggest uh, boars or the biggest pigs, and you know, there's these monsters like these you know uh, pigs that's like you know two thousand pounds and huge. And so this this kind of just again reminds me of like a, an honest to goodness big huge wild boar um, with all the amazing detail. Um, you know, we can take a look at all of the wrinkles, the big ears, and of course um, you know Robert again. Uh, did his uh, phenomenal paint job uh, bringing out all those little details giving him that coloration so um, the pig is really kind of for me like the centerpiece of this miniature uh, I just really love the detailing I love the the look of the pig I love the paint that went into the pig and the expression the little beady eyes the big floppy ears um, just amazing and then of course all the texturing that um, you know Robert Carlson put on this thing. You can almost you almost uh, think that the you know that he's gonna give an oink or a grunt. He looks so alive. So great job there, and you can see the little gourd with again all of the the details, the um, the little rope, uh, and now the the stopper, the cork, um, and again just. Uh, it's almost like this is as close as I can get before it starts blurring. It kind of like the limit of the iPhones uh, before iPhones autofocus breaks down. But again, just appreciate all of that detail. So um, it's a small uh, piece, and so he was able to package it pretty nicely with a lot of padding and and um, you know bubble wrap. And he comes in two pieces. Um, so there is a little tiny slot where the hand um, does fit in, and you put a little bit of super glue and you, you put that in. So. Um, you do have to kind of take them apart for shipping and to put them back together again. And then of course over here is the, the wonderful expression on the goblin. Um, pretty hilarious and I'm kind of like this mixture of fear and anxiety. He's sort of screaming, he looks like he's about to fly right off. You can see the, the gold bracelet, his fur, the texturing of the wooden shield, and then of course the color, the that green color. So again, just very, very beautiful work. Looking, you know, backing up just a little bit. So yeah, I mean, again, uh, Goblin on Pig. Quite happy with this overall. So try to get a little bit closer. So great paint job again on the Goblin, a lot of details. So a great paint job on a great sculpt really makes magic, and I think this is an example of that. So I'm just gonna kind of hold my camera steady so you can sort of appreciate this from all the different angles and go through it slowly. So this is definitely one of my favorite miniatures. Again, uh, Robert Carlson usually uh, paints my Blood Rage miniatures, which we're still sort of uh, very slowly working through, but um, you know, uh, when there's like a very special project, then sometimes I also either buy one of his one-offs off from him or I also get him to paint these for me. And um, just one of those situations where everything kind of came together. I waited and was very patient for this and it did work out. Uh, this is definitely up there with the fairy as my favorite. And it's just a, <clears throat> you know, beautiful, composition. It's such a unique striking piece. Uh, once again, you know, you're kind of looking at the art of um, the body in motion, the poetry of the body in motion. And uh, certainly this is a prime example, at least at the goblin side, 
it doesn't really feel like you know he's about to, to pitch right off. You can kind of see the, the tension in his muscles and this one arm that's just like, you know, desperately holding on. And then the other one, you know, his left hand trying to maintain his balance. Like, you can just feel him getting, you know, again, getting bucked off. You can feel the wind almost, um, you know, in the air, that type of thing. So very, very nice. So I hope you enjoyed this um, miniature review. And until next time, do take care.